coach gets here. Of course, do. Hey, Rob, can you just take us through that the shot that won the game? I mean, the play before I told coach uh, I wanted I wanted to shoot the ball and then I missed, and uh, we luckily got the ball back. And then it was a play we actually just put in for um, shoot around. So. Uh, X, he had the down screen, then Ray set a really good screen for me, and I was open. And, uh, I, knew I, was, I knew I was a student, so when we were down two, I, we just wanted to win the game, and I just made the big shot. Xavier, you guys. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> I think it's Mike Hello. It's Hello. John Harmon, John Harmon's job. All right. Hello. All right, good. We can hear you guys. We hear you now, good. Xavier, uh, you guys basically had to play uh, almost that entire game without Trace, and didn't seem to blink. It's uh, uh, how much of that was just better in leadership and knowing that that's the way it's got to be, and that was the way it was. Gonna, you guys were going to get that done, you too. Um, I mean, I mean, we're a great team overall. Uh, we have we have great talent. Uh, Coach recruited great great talent to come in, uh, and we had talent that actually stayed too as well. Uh, I mean, we all we all just came out and competed, and we got the job done. And I, I I'm I'm, lost, I'm I'm in loss of words right now. How happy I am. Greg Doyle, do you have anything? I'm good. Okay, uh, let's go to Rick Bozich. Rob, the last couple of games, I think you only had two points in the last two games combined. You came out and got 17 and really got uh, the offense going in the first half. What changed? It seemed like you were more aggressive and more confident. Um, I would say just having faith, faith in myself no matter what happens. Um, I mean, I had a, actually had a talk with Coach Woodson before shoot around today, and he told me just, if no one else is in your corner, that he's in my corner. So, I mean, we just had a really good talk before shoot around, and that just really boosted my spirit. And, um, I mean, finally, I mean, we finally beat Purdue. I was, what, 0-6? I mean, we just needed this win. We needed this win bad. It's, it's one thing to um, beat a top five team, but how sweet was it for you to beat a team in your own backyard where you're from? Great. I mean – I, every time I go home, people always talk talk trash to me. So, I mean, I just finally needed to get one. I'm, so, yeah, I mean, that was huge for us. I mean, shout out to X. He had a really big game in the second half. Michael Durr, he came in when, when Trace went down, and everyone really just stepped up, and uh, it was a team effort out there. Yeah, now I'm ready. Um, Rob, uh, what was that like after the game, the students coming on the court and all that? Just what was that like? Uh, I mean, it was hot. <laughs> it was hot out there, <laughs> i tell you that. But, uh, no, nah, just – Something I won't remember, uh, I won't ever forget. I mean, just these fans—they've supported me through through everything. So I just want to say thank you for the, the crowd tonight. It was huge. That really boosted us. But yeah, that moment is a moment I will never forget. Rob, have you ever? Uh, is it me? Yeah, I'm sorry. Rob, have you ever felt that way on the basketball court since you've been at IU? And could you also talk a little bit about what Mike Woodson has done for you in terms of your confidence? Uh. Honestly, no, not really. In the first half, I felt like every time I shot the ball, it was going to go in. So, yeah, I mean, Coach Woodson, from the jump, he knows. He knew I struggled last year, so, like, like he's been saying all the time that uh, he's going to keep believing me and keep um, instilling confidence in me. So, yeah, I mean, I just really played my heart up today, played with the heart on my sleeve tonight. Uh, you guys have been criticized a lot this year. How does it feel to have that game and shut the doubters? Shut the door, please. Um, I mean, it feels, it feels good. Um, I mean, we, I mean, obviously we see it a lot, um, but as I said before, the uh, only word that, that matters right now is coaches. And I mean, it's only one win as well, so I mean, you got plenty more more to go. Go ahead, Jim, then Tyler. Rob, uh, talk about what this can do for the rest of the season for you to get a jump start on this, the, the team. I mean, obviously it's a gigantic win, but you guys have slayed two streaks here. You have the road streak and now the streak to uh, Purdue, and you've got another challenge coming up with Michigan. But what does this win do for you guys, confidence-wise, going forward? Oh, no, it's huge. It's really huge. Um, I mean, they're the fourth-ranked team in the country, so it's a, it's really a schedule booster at the end of the season. And um, I mean, really, we just have to – Celebrate tonight, and then tomorrow we're back at it practice and got to get ready for Michigan. We just got to take it one game at a time. Tyler, Dustin, Rab Jones. Rob, this is a bigger picture question, but um, did you go to IU Purdue games growing up, and are there any memories that stick out to you from there? Um, I think I went to like one or two back when they had like Juwan, when Purdue was at, they were really good. Juwan Johnson, Robbie Hummel, all of them. So, yeah, I know. A lot, of my, a lot of my family went to Purdue. Um, my mom never really pushed me to be a Purdue Purdue fan or IU fan. I was just a 
just a basketball fan when I was a kid. So, I mean, I know the rivalries are super intense. And, um, I mean, once I got here, I really actually felt it from just everybody. I know they had a, a little a little streak on us. So, so yeah. I just want to get you guys' thoughts on uh, Michael Doerr and the minutes he gave you guys tonight, especially against that front line. Hey, Xavier, go ahead. Uh, I mean, before the game, uh, I told Mike, I said, it's going to be your day. And, I mean, we know how Trace was actually feeling. Uh, so, I mean, Mike was, Mike was actually going to be ready to play. And, and Coach told him, told him that he was going to go to him and, and be ready. And, and for a player not to play as much, as he, as he has been in the past, and to come out here and compete with, with, with those guys in the top top five team in the nation, it, it shows a lot. Okay, last question. Thanks, Robin, Michael. Real quick. Oh, yeah, I mean. Come on, Mike. Can I get one for Rob? I got you. I'll, I'll answer. I'll answer. Uh, but, yeah, I mean, just Big Mike, just his spirit in practice, really. I mean, he came from a program where he played 20, 30 minutes a game, and then he hasn't really been playing that much. I mean, we have Tracy Jackson Davis, so. But yeah, him just staying ready, coming in and guarding, and um, just his spark, that little mid range he hit was huge, and uh, just his energy and leadership he's bringing to the table is really big for us. I'll make it fast, Rob. Just uh, when you get picked up at center court, there basically at the uh -huh. end in that mob, you just how did that happen? Where were you? What was it like? Who picked you up? I mean, what can you tell us about that little experience right there? Uh, so yeah, I was trying to make my way through the crowd to my teammates. And then once we got all in a circle, I think it was X actually who started it. X tried to pick me up, and Trace picked me up, and then my whole, all the teammates picked me up. So yeah, it was really just a surreal experience. I won't forget. And uh, I mean, I just love my teammates, and uh, I love Indiana University. All right, guys, thanks.